since I was a little kid, music has always been there for me. As a five-year-old child, it mostly revolved around performances for my parents at home, as you can see here. The glimmer in that little girl's eyes is just the start of what she would end up calling her one and only partner in life, that is, music. This little girl would grow up with music right by her side, from her very first violin, her guitar lessons at school, and eventually trying out the pedal on a grand piano for the very first time. And although she ended up giving up two of those instruments, she never lost the admiration she had for music. She joined a church choir, competed in a choir competition with her school friends, and just continued to live with music right by her side. Soon, that little girl grew up into a not-so-little girl, and before you know it, she was an angsty preteen. She hated going to her piano lessons, never practiced, never listened to music. Like, ever. I'm not making this up. She made a Spotify account just because her friends did, yet no playlists were made, no songs were liked, and music was dead in her life, which adamantly made her life seem dead too, only filled with schoolwork and friend drama. And then the pandemic came rolling in. Alone and afraid, with no friends, she ended up resorting back to her friend from her, the very beginning. The friend of all friends, music. And with music, she was alive again. She learned how to play chords on the piano and started composing little tunes here and there. She got into K-pop and found new friends that bonded with her. At this point in time, life did not seem like life if there wasn't her Spotify playing in the background. In her room, she jammed to many of her favorite songs, lip syncing and doing karaoke all to herself. In her safe space, in her moment, only accompanied by music. Late night study sessions were not quiet and only filled with the sound of passing motorcycles anymore. It was hours and hours on her R&B playlist, her jazz playlist, and many other playlists of hers as she studied the night away. Resurrected, she had this sudden revelation of why not try to learn to play music she actually wanted to learn. Not some etude found on the Yamaha book she had, not some classical song her piano teacher made her learn, actual songs she liked and wanted to jam to on the piano. With the chords she taught herself, she started learning and transcribing some of her favorite K-pop songs into a piece she could play on the piano. She got a new piano teacher that resurrected the passion for music in her and helped her learn new patterns and rhythms that made her covers of songs interesting and sweet to the ear. She went back to performing in little recitals, nothing much, simply just to show her hard work in the form of a performance to a small group of people. Now, I haven't heard that much from her, but I hear that her and music are doing really well. Almost every day after school, she'll spend some time on the piano, transported into another universe where she's simply playing and singing songs of others and also composing those of her very own. She enjoys music class a lot and will jump at any opportunity to play any piano she sees. It's helped her connect with herself and most recently, it's helped her connect with her grandpa. Sometime last year, her grandpa was diagnosed with dementia and Parkinson's. And unfortunately, his health has rapidly declined in the last five months, and he's forgotten her name. It's really tough for her to suddenly be overwhelmed with this new grandpa, but music with its kind heart and kind sound came in to suddenly give her a little pat in the back. One day after church, she was simply playing around with the piano there after her family had finished the usual ceremony. At one point, she started playing Can't Help Falling in Love by Elvis Presley. And at the tune of it, her grandpa suddenly came closer, grabbed a chair, and started singing. At that moment there, she felt a sense of reconnection. Like maybe that bond that she once had with her grandpa was still there, even if not much was left. Then she decided to play Endless Love by Lionel Richie and Diana Ross. It was an iconic song to her family, the favorite of both her grandparents who had loved the song since they first met. Her grandpa, very much excited to sing, 
suddenly started tearing up. When she asked why, he told her that he wouldn't sing if her grandma wasn't there with him, for them to sing together. Her grandma eventually came, wiped off the tears on his face, and her two loving grandparents sang together. As she played, she kept her head tilted down on the piano, avoiding the sight of anyone who could see that she herself was tearing up. Music has allowed her to discover, reconnect, and ultimately love herself and those around her. She would not be who she is without music being there throughout all of her life. Music now holds a very special place in her heart, a space that cannot be replaced, but will hopefully expand even further towards the future. She loves music, and music loves her back. What seems so incomprehensible to her is how music loves. How is it able to love her and convey that through the trickle of notes and the meanings in lyrics? That's something that she cannot simply grasp. It's something that I can't simply grasp. She, I, only wish to learn how to love like music. But hey, you can do that by listening to the song in the back. <laughs>